Uh, I'm tired. You see, I didn't even do my hair today. Yeah. This might be how my how I do my hair. Because if I do yeah. my hair normally, it just fights me. This might just be how I wear my hair today. Nice. You're just gonna do that for like the rest of the year, or is it just because you're not going anywhere? I am going somewhere though, but um Well, I mean within like that you really care about. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, I got I gotta look good for that dead body, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna look so good that the body's gonna like, show Dang, you. Dang, I just came back alive because of that. <laughs> Welcome to the wild cast. Welcome to the wild cast, where Studio 76 does a podcast. I know it's short, but it's got a last. So sit down and enjoy your know, other Welcome to the Wildcast podcast. Um, I didn't know that was going to be our intro. Um, <laughs> I don't know how on board I am with that, but um, there you have it. We'll probably cut out some of that. Hmm, maybe. It won't be so bad. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted the turtle. This oh, is why well, I wanted the turtle to be our intro. We can restart with the turtle if you want. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. We'll just close the podcast with the turtle. That's what we'll do. Yeah. That's what we'll do, yeah. Like, I'll just turn off my video and go back and it'll just be the turtle. <laughs> this turtle I got, I don't even know when I got it. I got it for Christmas like two years ago and I'm like, what am I going to do with a stuffed animal? Like, I was like 18. I'm like, why, why are you giving me stuffed animals at 18? Yeah. So I just threw him in my car. Like he just sat on the on the back of my car. And so anyone who walked past my window could just see a turtle just chilling in there. <laughs> I named him something. I totally forgot what I named him. I think it was, ah, I named him Nigel. That's what it is. Oh, okay. He's Nigel the turtle. He just hang out in my car. Well, ever since that uh, forty-eight hour shoot, I've had. Uh... Both Nephi's and Rylan's toy guns just sitting in the back uh, of my car. Oh, that's a smart move. Yeah, um, are they like, visible? Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely a smart move. Yeah, I know. You like talking to cops a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I know. If I ever get pulled over, they're just going to like immediately arrest me. <laughs> I don't know if they'll arrest you. I don't think they can arrest you for that. No, I've seen cops overreact over less so they definitely will question you <laughs> like why do you just have them just sit down anyone can just break a window and grab it like it's not very smart <laughs> maybe you'll just get a break in, broken window and then you'll never get an FPS toy gun back uh yeah that's probably what's gonna happen yep sounds fun sounds like a good story yeah <sighs> Dude, I just can't wait till we get back on campus. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. I'm ready. And here's why. Um, I can't edit anything on my laptop anymore. Dude, me too. It's like, done. Uh... Like, you wanted me to make final edits for Copcake. It's not happening on, on this yeah. computer. <laughs> it's Oh, it's so bad. The worst part is, is I have good programs on here. I have, like, the whole Premiere Suite... And I have DaVinci Resolve that uh-huh. came, and it's studio version, like the paid version of it. Oh, because it came with nice. my Black Magic, and so it does a lot of cool color correcting stuff. But I can't use it because it's my laptop. Dang. It just it won't run it, and I'm so sad about it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a good computer to edit on. Mm-hmm. This computer was good two years ago, but no longer. So, Whoa. You, what? I I just realized I'm in my third year of college. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just so recognizing I, that I'm halfway through. I'm... Oh, okay. So, uh, do you like DaVinci Resolve? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done it. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Like, I, I looked up a lot of stuff about DaVinci Resolve to see if it was really worth it. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of just, like iffy stuff and i'm like so is it well, worth getting or is it just like garbage from my understanding it's really worth it on the studio side but 
I can't do it because of my laptop. So I don't right. know. From the interface of it, it looks really cool. And like from the get-go, when you open it, it says like, which keyboard shortcuts are you used to do? Like um, Final Cut, Vegas, uh, Premiere. So I huh. click Premiere, and so I can use all the keyboard shortcuts that Premiere nice. does. It's very nice. But I can't do anything with it. So <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Maybe I'll buy a computer sometime. Yeah. Um, I bought a guitar, though. I got it. It's here. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. saw it when you were showing me the turtle. Oh, you did? Well, the turtle was sitting on your chair. There's my guitar. Nice. I'm very bad at it, obviously. <laughs> but it comes with like three months of online lessons. So oh. we'll, see how, we'll see how far I get. We'll see. Just learning notes now? Yeah, like learning notes and chords. They have you do a couple like really simplistic riffs to make yeah. you like, oh, I'm doing really good. But it's just like, <laughs> You're just playing like four notes in a row, and you're like, "Wow, uh -huh. playing music! I'm really doing it." Are your fingers hurting yet? Oh yeah, um, my first my first day, I played for like four hours. And oh, I, was like, yeah. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Like, I'm gonna play for an hour at a time now, for about a month until I get those calluses. Yeah, that's that's what happened to me last time. I I like took a break from playing guitar, and then went back and just like mm -hmm. played it. For a really long time and then I just killed my fingers and I planned on it yeah. I always knew that was going to be a thing um I always thought of like uh, I had a second grade teacher where she'd play guitar like every day with us we'd sing songs and um she'd do it for like a solid 20 minutes <laughs> wow <laughs> it, it was because she's like she's getting older so her like skin was like really soft oh okay. so like she could only do it, and every time she's like, "Look at my fingers. This is why." Look at that. You can't. Yeah, it was so funny because it was like this weird PSA about how mean guitars are. <laughs> <laughs> like they're so mean to me. This is why I can't play. This is why we're only playing for twenty minutes. And you're like, "Okay, <laughs> whatever." Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just a bunch of kids were like, "What? Okay, is a recess yet?" Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's ever classes throughout elementary that I actually like liked being in, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Cause I don't know, like you just want to go straight to recess, man. Yeah. It's always about recess. And then after you have morning recess, you're like, when's lunch? Like mm -hmm. I'm ready. Those, those days are so long. If you think about it. Yeah. You didn't get like, well, I mean, you didn't get to move around. Place, yeah. You didn't, you didn't get different teachers for different subjects. You just... Yeah. One teacher teaching you everything. Well, My teachers in, hated me. In my <laughs> elementary... Um, terrible student. We had two teachers because we had a Spanish teacher that was supposed to teach us Spanish. Uh-huh. Um, and so we would move every time we'd like move to another room every time there was a Spanish class or whatever. You got the word uh, in Spanish? Yeah. In elementary there. school? Uh-huh. Well, I went to a private school, so. Oh, yeah. we probably have very different experiences. Did you get cubbies? <laughs> Did you get cubbies like we got cubbies? Um, I don't think so. Oh, uh, okay. So, um every every one of my elementary school uh classrooms is like this you had one big room right and you had just like the chairs like your normal classroom setup but in the back he had they called it the coat room but it wasn't really a room it was just like a, like a cubicle but like a permanent cubicle and it just had a little hangers for all the coats and then you had cubbies and you just like put all your stuff in the cubbies oh well see i had hangers and that's all you uh -huh. do, you just hang up your coats and stuff, and then you just keep your backpack and all your stuff with you at your desk. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I had a few different things. Like, I had cubbies, like, for pretty much every grade up until sixth. Huh. Um, but, like, some of them, like, the 
you know how you like have like the pockets under your desks we would oh, like yeah. yeah we'd bring like shoe boxes and like cut the tops off and you'd like decorate it and then that's where you put all your pencils and stuff in huh. yeah it's where all my desk stuff went to die <laughs> sixth grade was the was the worst one i like <laughs> it was so funny i broke a ruler like I broke it in half and it was a ruler paid for by the school. It was like a little plastic flimsy ruler. Okay. And I don't think I even broke it on purpose, but I never told anyone. I just threw it in my cubby. That's like at the start of the year. Okay. Oh boy. And may I add, we never used the ruler for anything. I don't know why <laughs> we had the ruler. They're like, here's a ruler. Okay, now we're gonna freehand the straight line, and you're like, "But what about the ruler?" They're like, "Forget about the ruler." <laughs> so, wow, we were sat there like all year long, and at the end of the year, they're like, "Hey, clean out your cubbies, and you got to return everything, including the ruler, back to the teacher." Oh no! And I was like, "I am so screwed." <laughs> and like, we started that day, and I was like, "Crap, crap, crap, crap!" Like. What do I do? And she gets to like half of them and we had to take a break for some reason. So she's like, okay, hey, you know, I'm just going to do all these after hours. And I'm like, whoa, because that means, yes, she'll be disappointed in me, but she won't do it to my face. Uh -huh. But then we get there the next morning and she's like, before we start class, I want to start, I want to have, a, I want to lecture you guys a little bit. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. It started out and I was like, oh man, it's going to be all about me. Like, uh -huh. and she's like, I found about 10 students who broke things in their cubbies. And I was like, <laughs> yes, it's not all me. And, so, because the disappointment is diluted. Oh You're my. You're good. So. You said the worst that, class. That teacher hated me. Um. She hated me because she was friends with um, my fifth grade teacher. Uh -huh. I did. She was terrible. She was a bad teacher. She was very biased, as mm, like yeah. from the get go. Biased towards girls. Um, yeah, huh. yeah, she was. Um, she wouldn't like. She wouldn't take a guy's answer for anything. It was <laughs> it was really weird, and I hated it. And I mm -hmm. like I did not like her as a teacher, and. I think at one point she did something that was like, I don't even remember what it was. They, my, my parents got pissed about it, and my parents got mad at the teacher. Like, she wasn't a good teacher. Right. Um, but, like, we always did a mile walk every day, right? Yeah. So I'm on the mile walk with my friends, sixth grade, and I'm like, man, that, like, whatever her name was, like, that fifth grade teacher, I'm like, She's the devil. That's what I said. And apparently, I, I love I love elementary because no one's loyal to anyone. Uh -huh. Because those friends immediately go to the teacher and was like, Logan said that that this teacher was the devil. Oh my heck! Yeah, and just my luck. Um, her it, it was my sixth grade teacher's like best friend, and so she took me aside and she was like why would you say that about my best friend? And I said, cause she's the devil. <laughs> it's uh, like I got in trouble for that one. <laughs> dang. I just speak my mind. Uh, I guess said worse things. Probably. It's the worst thing that my sixth grade mind could come up with though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was one innocent little kid. But yeah, that's why sixth grade sucked. <laughs> My, hated me. My sixth grade was like awesome because really. Uh, so my school got shut down around the end of my fifth grade year, and so they wanted to like allow the sixth grade kids to finish out their year in the school. So they took everybody from sixth grade and they put them into the high school. <laughs> So yo, that's cool. Yeah. I was like a sixth grader with like all these high schoolers. And oh, I they, bet they hated none that. Of, 
they like they were like really nice to us because we were like mm-hmm. too young to be in high school. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Right. So interesting. We didn't I get thought picked on. Yeah. Around. I no. thought they'd be like, oh, these kids. Well, get away the, from me. I remember the eighth graders did that because they were just. I just they just hated everybody. <laughs> Oh yeah, but like junior high is the older than that. They were like really nice to us. Nice. Yeah. Junior high school or middle school, whichever one it is, has to be probably the worst. Like just the worst years in a teenager's tweeny, whatever, Mm -hmm. uh, what in their life. I remember junior high was the worst experience for me. Yeah. Seventh grade, I was cool, and then eighth and ninth, I'm like, this sucks. Get me out of (laughs) here. Like yeah. everyone's mean to everyone. Nobody's nice. Everyone's just hormonal. <laughs> <laughs> like it is not fun. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah, I I hated I hated junior high. I remember I would just there was like all these people in junior high that would like we'd like go to like the assemblies or whatever mm-hmm. and do all this like team spirit or school spirit oh. bull crap. It was just like the most boring thing in the world, and I would oh, just I sit there and like make fun of everything in the back. Oh, that's me! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you just like you go to an assembly and you're like, cool. It's like in this period, so I get all my friends with me, right? Yeah. And then y'all just sit on a bench and you're like, that's stupid. That's why that's stupid. Why are they uh-huh. playing that song if they have to censor out half of it? Like, oh, it was bad. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Every like, but then you get in a period where you're like weren't with your friends, and they're like, "We're gonna have an assembly this period." You're like, "No." Yeah. You just sit there alone, like, like I hate my life so much. And then you get on their phone, and everyone's like, "Get off your phones!" You're like, "Why?" Mm-hmm. I'm not like I'm not being. This isn't educational by any means. Yeah. Did you ever have like um or what junior high did you go to? uh rocky mountain junior high okay um did you guys do any like you know how we have like the mr fremont thing did you have something similar to that um i don't think so okay i paid i went i went to walkwas and we did Um, oh okay it was called mr walkwas whoa original (laughs) um and they did all the same things it was always guys like they never did anything for the girls it's so weird. Well, Mr. Fremont's the same way. Didn't they stop it, though? No, they had... I think they stopped it in my ear. They had nothing for the girls. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, There was nothing for the yeah. girls. Nothing for the girls. It was always... They did Mr. Fremont and Mr. Rockwist, and they just had guys up there, like, doing stereotypically feminine things, and the people would laugh at them. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that it got canceled. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Th- those are always so dumb to me. Yeah, I don't know this. All it was was you just voted. Oh, it didn't get canceled. It didn't. They just now didn't. I have. Still doing I, have this? A, I have a story. Okay. No, they still they they didn't cancel it. But one guy just freaking ruined it for everyone slash made it amazing for everyone. I'll explain. So um, he was on the swim team. And I don't know, like stereotypically, swim team guys are just weird, man. Yeah, that's true. Actually, swim team, like anyone, they were just weird, dude. And you just like, (laughs) you do not hang around them because they like, they say the weirdest stuff. And they all like laugh because they have like little weird inside jokes. Um, the Fremont swim team would throw pineapples at the wall, and they thought it was like humor. What? <laughs> exactly. They, they, like, they said anytime. I got this from uh, someone who I like was friends with on the swim team. They said that anytime that they won, they would throw like a pineapple at the wall. Don't know why, but anyway. So he's on the okay. swim team. Um, very weird guy. Um, he gets. And they, they have, like, the talent portion where they just pick whatever they want, right? Yeah. So everyone's just doing weird, lame things. Like, some of them are being serious. They're like, we're going to sing a song. And then they 
take like 20 minutes to set up audio or whatever and they just sit there and like sing <laughs> their dumb song and everyone's just like and there's always like the friends who are like holding up the cell phones like yeah and they're yeah. like no like just because they're singing doesn't mean they're entitled to that yeah so uh but his turn comes up and he like calls on a volunteer they come and sit in the chair and he's just and then they just start this music and he starts lap dancing oh no oh the worst part is he had two other guys from the swim team like are standing on either side in speedos here's the thing though the thing that was the thing that was um planned was the person that got picked up there was oh. someone that they planned before and it was a random person that's good okay that would have been a lot worse <sighs> oh but boy he did it for a solid um oh he had tearaway pants too um he did it for about like three minutes and they tear off the pants and he did it for another two minutes oh my gosh now let me tell you no. the only thing funnier than watching that was watching the school administrators just freak out in the audience they're like standing by over like in the middle of the auditorium yeah and they're just like oh my gosh what do we do what do we do and then the principal's <laughs> like ah! and then finally like when the student body comes up they're like okay hey, we're gonna end this now and everyone goes ah <laughs> it was amazing oh apparently, boy. so apparently he got pulled off stage i heard this later he got pulled off stage and the the principal was just like um why did you do that and he's like I've just been such a good kid throughout high school. I wanted to do something bad for a change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which was a lie. He was a bad kid through and through. Uh, <laughs> and she goes, I, and she said, I can respect that. <laughs> That's what she said. And oh. she, I don't think he got suspended or nothing. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. I thought it was hilarious, but then right after that, I went to seminary with a bunch of people who did not think it was hilarious. Oh, they did yeah. not like it at all, and I thought it was even funnier that they didn't think it was funny. <laughs> I was like, I thought that was great. The only thing that wasn't great was there was um the kid like so they have like a preschool that they run for like the home ec. Oh no, were they there? They were there. Oh. Oh no. So that wasn't as good. Oh god. There was definitely issues. There was definitely yeah, issues. I'll bet. Yeah. From my perspective, it was funny, but it's probably not great for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just realizing you have so many high school stories. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's do um what's wrong with this picture. Yay! All right. Like, insert the applause noise. Yeah. It's like... What's wrong with this picture? Oh, wow. Um, he seems, like, a lot less freaked out for something that's, like, right in his face from the reflection of his sunglasses. Um, also, why is there, like... No, I, that's more stylistic. Um... I feel like what you're going to say is why is this guy in like looks normal film, but the reflection of the sunglasses is like a VCR type thing. That's, that's what I think your answer is to that. Um, um, no. Or is it something with this weird tagline down here? No, why it's not with that tagline. See them in it's very close to what you you guessed, though, about the tagline part. But it is very close to that. Are you um, with this? Are, are you talking about like he's way too close? And no. Uh, um, so you kind of have to really have watched this movie, I think, to get it. Oh, okay. But, I have so in this movie, do you know the plot of this movie? They I don't, I've never seen like oh, okay. I've never seen this before. You gotta watch it. It's pretty good. Or caught wind of it. Oh, okay. So this is a movie about um go away, Simtech. No one cares. Okay. Um Oh, you have a cat named Simtech? No. 
so the plot of this movie is like this guy and he's like poor and then they like he finds this church that's like really weird and like a conspiracy theory or whatever and they like give him these sunglasses which is what he's holding right now and Mm -hmm. what the sunglasses do is when you put them on you see the world as it truly is which are these robots that like change the world and they like make a whole bunch of like subliminal messages that you can only see the reality of them through these glasses and the sunglasses also allow you to see these robots in their true form because they like disguise themselves as humans i'm guessing that's not their true form right there no that is the true form right here oh okay but the thing is is whenever you put on the glasses everything turns black and white and he's Ah. in color and it's like why is that in color that is weird if yeah. they made the stylistic choice in the movie, they should stick with it on the poster. Mm-hmm. That's weird. And I don't know, the the VCR weird like warp thing, mm-hmm. that could also just be a dumb thing that they added that is wrong with this picture. But it could just be that he's like looking at a TV screen because there are a lot of the robots that you see on TV. Because like part of the thing in the movie is like everybody on TV is a robot. (laughs) I guess that makes the tagline make more sense. Otherwise I'm like, what are you talking about? (laughs) Yeah. It's, it's like a confusing movie until like maybe halfway through and then you like start getting it. Ah, okay. And that's like after he already starts like gunning down a whole bunch of these robots and you're like, Oh, what is happening? He's gunning down robots. Don't yeah. question it. It's eighties action movie. <laughs> exactly. They're just gonna shoot some stuff, and it's gonna solve the problem somehow. <laughs> Guns always solve everything. Yeah. Just ask, you know, any guy with American flag strapped to the back of his truck. <laughs> Too political. Okay. <laughs> I'll lay off. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Fremont was full of those. I think there was just too many hicks. Oh like, yeah. Like uh, people were like, yeah, I'm a country boy. And then they go to their very residential home. Yeah. And then they blow up <laughs> M40s in the back of their backyards. <laughs> That's a true story, by the way. Um, wow. Yeah, there was a guy who bragged about doing that. Um he later got pulled over by the police. I saw this happen because I was driving over like Kent's market. Uh-huh. So like were you there? Were you still at school when Kent's Marco was in or no? I don't think so. Okay. So if you don't know, it's very close to Fremont. Mm. They put it like over by um the new Plain City Elementary, just down the road from it. Okay. So um I was on my way to Kent's Market and like I saw it, he got pulled over because he's in a truck with twenty people. 20 20 people, people how because he's got him the person in the car in the passenger seat he had four people in the back of the seat in, in the back seat instead of three mm-hmm. and he had just a bunch of people piled into the bed of the truck holy crap and so they had three cop cars there because they needed backup to keep everyone <laughs> un- under control and they were just surround they just surrounded the truck it was oh, so man. funny because he was probably just getting pulled over just for that but it looked a lot more crazy than it was. Right, so like, yeah. whoa, we need backup. Like, what if these kids turn on us? <laughs> we can't stop them all. Oh, wow. That kid sucked. I once accidentally pulled in front of him while he was going 60 miles an hour down to 30 miles an hour. And I stopped. Ooh. I stopped. He passed. And I went. And then he waited for me in the parking lot and, like, got super mad at me and was, like, yelling and stuff. And I was like, Dude, you're going 30 over the limit. Like, yeah, geez. It was like around the corner that he did it. He was like, Vroom. Um, <laughs> that pissed me off. Yeah. He sucked. Yeah. High school sucks. Yeah. Don't go to high school. <laughs> yeah. You know, just drop out and then like get your GED later. Yeah. Or be like Kiefer and just graduate early. What? He graduated early? Yeah. How? He's the same age as you, but he graduated a year before you. 
Um, How do you do that? What? A lot of people can graduate early. How, though? I wanted to graduate early. Yeah? You, all you had to do is take the right classes. I don't even remember which ones. Well, like, um, my senior year, I had two classes left to take, and so I just started going to college. You started going? Wow. I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Huh. It just um, lets you leave. They're like, yeah, you're going to college classes? Okay, bye. Um, so I think the way Kiefer probably did it was probably he did a, some online classes. Like just oh, them. for uh, high school? Yeah. Huh. Let's go to online classes. That's my best guess as to how he did it. But um, That's like overachieving right there, I think. Yeah. I remember everyone was like, don't graduate early. And now I'm like looking back and I'm like, why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> What am I missing? See, like, they're like, senior year is so great. It wasn't. Like, it was the same old stuff. It got fun at the end of the year, mm-hmm. but it's stuff that I can do anyways. Like, it's stuff that I could do. Yeah, I think it was only fun because it was just like, you don't do as much. And it's like, well, if I graduate early, then I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And it's still then, fun. Like, then you can hang out with people, and then you don't have to go to class. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're out of time. So, can I stop talking? I'm, I'll stop talking. Shut up, Logan. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching and listening. Um, just want to go to your uh, turtle now. Oh, my turtle. Yeah. Come on. Hold on. <laughs> There's Logan's picture. His fantastic photography skills. Uh, that's not me. Oh, it's not you. That looks like you. <laughs> ah, it's the turtle. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs>